Hello, everyone. Welcome to my very first ever live stream and definitely trying to figure out the technology as we go. So uh, I think I think we are good to go, though. I think we're finally streaming. So awesome. Just wanted to do a quick Facebook um, and LinkedIn live on the the things that we should stop doing in 2022, specifically seven things that you should stop doing in 2022, because we talk a lot about New Year's and New Year's resolutions and all of that. And I, I love the momentum of New Year, new beginning, new start, start, new season. But I wanted to do just a quick, uh, a quick, you know, dig in to some things that you can stop doing in, in 2022 because it doesn't cost you anything to stop doing something, right? It doesn't cost you any time. It doesn't cost you any money. It doesn't cost you anything to stop doing something. And so there's no excuses, right? And the thing is that when you stop doing these seven things, you find that you can tap into your ability to be more successful. You increase your options, you increase your opportunities, you increase your influence. So very very quick um, overview there. First thing first I wanted to dig into is number one, stop doing in 2022 is stop believing other people are responsible for your emotions. You know, Stephen Covey said it perfectly in the seven habits of highly effective people. He said, human beings have the freedom when something happens, they have the freedom to pause and choose their response to what happened. And that's incredibly empowering. It's incredibly difficult sometimes, right? When something happens, it's something that maybe we don't like, something that is frustrating or upsetting. And, and we're emotional creatures, right? We are humans. We are emotional. We have emotions. And But the very first and fundamental thing that you can stop doing to improve your outlook and your opportunities and your options and have a more successful year in 2022 is stop believing other people are responsible for your emotions. See, the thing is that we get to choose our response anytime something happens. And when we realize that, that means that nobody else can make you mad. Nobody else can make you upset. Nobody else can get you frustrated. You are choosing those emotional responses. Now, absolutely, things are going to happen that you don't like, right? You cannot control much of what happens. You cannot control other people. But you always have the freedom to choose your emotional response to what happens. So stop blaming your emotions on other people. Stop blaming your, your emotional responses on other people. Other people aren't responsible responsible for your emotions. They're your emotions. You choose them. So stop blaming other people for them. Number two, stop believing other people are responsible for your poor choices. And that's a tough one. But there again, as long as we're externalizing the blame of so-and-so did something I didn't like, and so now I'm going to, to choose a poor response. Maybe it, it could be just as little or insignificant as I had a bad day at work. I had a stressful encounter with a customer at work. And so now I'm going to just go home and have a bowl of ice cream, right? That's a poor choice in response to something someone else did. Stop believing that other people are responsible for your choices. They're your choices. And until you own them, they will own you. Number three, stop believing that other people are responsible for your problems. Absolutely. There again, people are going to say things or do things that we don't like. Problems are part of life. But stop believing that other people are responsible for your problems. Because they're your problems, that means they've got to be your solutions. And no one else is going to be as committed to finding a solution to your problem as you are. Stop believing other people are responsible for your problems. Number four, stop believing other people are responsible for your dreams. I was on a podcast interview just a little while ago, and, and I talked about one of the, the forms of self-limiting belief is believing that someone else should help us get what we want in life or believing that someone else will help us get what we want in life. And neither one of those limiting beliefs will help us move forward. Nobody else will work as hard and fight as hard for your dream as you should. Stop believing someone else is going to, to do, to work that for you. That's, that's something only you can do. If it's your dream, then you've got to claim it. You've got to own it. No one else is going to make it come true like you can. Number five, stop believing other people are responsible for your success. Stop believing other people responsible for your success. You know, a lot of times we find ourselves in a situation where we're not satisfied. And that's, that's true personally or professionally. But 
the only person who can help you be highly successful personally or professionally is you. And there again, no one else is going to be as invested in your success. You've got to take ownership. If you're not happy with a job or the career that you're in, you've got to take ownership and say, I've got to do something to fix it. I remember um, back in, you know, and after I left home, um, I was 19 and, and the only job that I could find way back then, no, you know, after I left home, I didn't have anything when I left home, no job, no high school diploma, no money, no car. And the only job that I could find was working as a waitress at Pizza Hut. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but, but let me tell you, I realized quickly that number one, that's not what I wanted to do the rest of my life. But number two, the job of my dreams wasn't going to come find me at Pizza Hut. I was going to have to do something different if I wanted life to be different. Number six, stop believing that other people are responsible for your results. There again, it comes down to ownership and saying, I've got to take responsibility for the results that I'm getting. I've got to stop externalizing the blame for the lack of results. I have to figure out what do I need to do differently. And only you can figure that out for yourself. Only I can figure that out for myself. If I'm not getting results, I've got to take a step back and say, what do I need to change? What do I need to tweak? Maybe I need a total revamp here on this strategy, but I've got to, to stop waiting on someone else to help improve my results in any area of my life. I've got to take ownership of that. Last but not least, stop believing that other people are responsible for what you do, be, have, and become in life, right? There again, it's your life. And as long as you are waiting on someone else to fix it, improve it, change it, tweak it, it's going, it's never going to be changed or tweaked or improved or fixed. Regardless of wherever you are in your life, you always want to be grateful for what you have, of course. But if you're not completely satisfied in some area of your life, then the question is down to what are you going to do about it? Now, it might not be an overnight fix. It might be something that you have to grow and develop yourself into the person who can achieve the level of success that you want in life. You have to become the person who can achieve what you want in life. But, but that's your responsibility and only you can do that. And let me tell you, 2022 is a, a new year and a fresh start just around the corner. But, but as long as you are waiting on someone else to, to give you a magic year or just because it's January 1st, things are going to be different. You're not going to ever change anything unless you change something. So get out there and change something. Thanks for joining me.